Hello everyone. In this series, we are going to learn how to identify regular languages. Today we are going to see few of the examples by which we'll be learning how to identify regular grammars. So let's begin. The first example is a raised to m, p raised to n, where m and n is greater than or equal to zero. which means we can write a is greater than or equal to 0 and b is greater than or equal to 0 so means we can write this as a raised to star and b raised to star so this type of grammar will be regular since the power of a and power of b is different we can conclude that this grammar is regular but obviously it will be not a finite Now next, see the second example. A raised to m, b raised to n, and we are saying the value of m and n is greater than equal to zero, and the value m is equal to n. Now in this case, you can write this as a raised to a raised to m can be written as n. So we can write this as a raised to n. b raised to n so now in this expression you can see here the memory is same okay but the expression a and b required same amount of memory and we all know that regular expression is going to be accepted by fa and fa is not having that much of memory that it can store a raised to n and b raised to n so this is the reason this language is not regular now see the next example question number 3 here also a raised to m b raised to n and we are saying m comma n is greater than equal to 0 and m is not equal to 0 now in this case you can see here m is not equal to 0 means you can write m is either the value of m is greater than n or the value of m is less than n isn't it which means that it can be anything okay so means the value of m and n will be always different it is mention that the value is not equal so means this two will be m and n will be the different values okay so means we will we can show the data okay so this is going to accepted by fa fa is accepting this language so it is regular now see the next example here a raised to m b raised to n m comma n is greater than equal to 0 and the value of m is greater than equal to n now in this case you can see here there is comparison means what the value of m will be greater than plus equal to which means the value of m and n may be equals okay so we can write this as uh, a raised to sorry a raised to n and b raised to n okay or either we can write this as what the value of m means there will be comparison when whenever we are adding the value of a in the stack it is it requires memories so then only it will be uh, a, able to compare the um, value of m and n so this is the reason this language is not accepted by fa and it is not regular now see the next example in this example you can see a raised to m b raised to n m comma n greater than equal to 0 m is equal to n or 
m is not equal to n now this is again the similar type of question which we have done in the question number 3 here you can see m is equal to n or m is not equal to n means what the value of m will be greater than equal to n or the value of m will be less than equal to n so which we can write here as a raised to star and b raised to star okay and we we can conclude that the powers will be different okay so means what this is going to accepted by fa so it is regular okay now next see the example number 6 a raised to m b raised to n m comma n is greater than equal to 0 and we are saying m plus n will be even now in this case we have to imagine when we are going to say that number is the addition of number will be even okay suppose suppose we are adding 1 plus 2 now 1 is odd 2 is even we are getting what odd correct so we cannot take this condition we want even number so for even we have to do what we have to take suppose even we are i'm taking 2 as even then again i'm taking 4 as even so addition will be what even so means we can take this possibility okay then if i'm adding suppose uh this was odd and even okay now i'll take odd sorry even and i'm take odd now again this becomes 5 which is odd so this is also not possible then after that suppose if i'm taking odd plus odd so now this becomes what this becomes even so means what are the possibilities we have to take we have to take even plus even then odd plus odd so this expression can be written as what even means we have to add even and even and odd and odd so a is to sorry a a star this is even okay then b value of b will also be even or this is the first possibility which we have concluded from this expression okay even plus even will return you the value even then the next case that is odd plus odd will return you even so this we can write as a a a star then b b b star okay so this is the expression which we have written using this condition okay so now since we are able to write the regular expression this language is going to be accepted by fa and this will be regular okay then after that suppose the condition is m plus n is equal to odd now in the same example here we have written when we are adding odd plus even we are getting odd and when we are adding even and odd we are getting odd so means this uh, expression for this uh, grammar we can write as what we have to write odd then again this is even correct we will write like this or we can take this condition that is even dot then we'll take odd okay so this is the regular expression for the this condition okay so now since we are able to write the regular expression for this condition this is going to accepted by fa and this is a regular expression or you can say regular language after this let's take few of the example suppose the grammar is suppose the grammar is a raised to n 
and we are saying the value of n is greater than or equal to 0. Now, this is going to be accepted by fa. Why so? Because we have seen here only one single power is there that is a raised to n and there is no comparison, no condition, no dependency is there. So, this is going to be accepted by fa. Now, second, suppose if, uh, if we are taking a raised to 2 raised to n and we are saying n is greater than or equal to 0. Now, in this case, you can see here, here we have expression and when we are evaluating this, that is a raised to, suppose we are putting the value 2 raised to 1, a raised to 2 raised to 2, a raised to 2 raised to 3, a raised to 2 raised to 4 and when we will solve this, that, that become a square, a raised to 4, a raised to 8 a raised to 16 and when we compare the powers here we are getting 2 the different here we are getting 8 here we are getting 8 now the difference is not same which means it is not following ap and we conclude that the this grammar is not regular and it is not going to accept it by fa okay so not regular okay everyone will stop here we'll be seeing more number of problems like this in our next class thank you everyone